this is Women Love Sports 2. And I am Pebbles. And I'm Nikki at night. How she got me? Why, why you? I just can't be Nikki. I'm Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki at night. Nikki. Nikki. Okay. So, of course, we want to welcome you here for some nice talk, not so nice talk. Yeah. Current news. This local news. Good old sports. National talk. news. Bum ass Ravens news. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's my team. I'm raving out today, but they playing like some bums. So yes, we're gonna um, talk about them. I told y'all I go in on everybody. You know, okay, not just other people's teams, but definitely I have to go in on my own team. It is the only right. I try not to. Anything well, can damn happen. that we zero and three. I'm going in on y'all ass Anything in a minute. Anything can happen. Um, I did not bring the patrol. I said I was bringing it because mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. heartbreaking to me with the Ravens. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the Ravens are doing that scared the mess. <laughs> We was about so, to evacuate the building. <laughs> you know, emergency broadcast system. Girl. Anyway. So, yeah, we, we, we have a few topics. And, of course, the fundraiser over the weekend. Yes. And uh, that was funny. Mm-hmm. So, before we get started, I want to give social media so you can interact with me and both Nikki, Nikki and I, whatever she wants to be at the moment. So, Again, I can be reached on Twitter at underscore women love sports, and that's women L U V sports. I'm on Instagram as women love sports number two. I'm on where am I? <laughs> uh, Facebook. I didn't yes. say Facebook, right? Okay, that's women L U V sports T O O. So I'll get Snapchat and leave them. Go ahead. <laughs> so I am Nicole Lee. On Facebook and on Instagram, I'm Nikki at night 80, and that at is spelled out, and night is spelled N I T E. That's it. That was on the chair. Oh, that's right. But what's okay? When we leave here today, she's going to have a Twitter. Okay. <sighs> I don't know how often she's going to tweet. We wanted to get her into tweeting. I'm going to put it okay. on my tablet. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Not on my phone, on my tablet. Yes. Well, you know, I've separated my things as well. I have all Women Love Sports 2 on my tablet. Right. And then I have everything personal on my phone. Yeah, that's why I have to do that. Yes. Yes. And I have some announcements, of course, to make. Um, We have been given the wonderful opportunity, and we're going to use it. Um, (laughs) So, yes, we'll be talking about that later. So, um, I will bring up this. I hope you guys got your nominations in for the Baltimore Music Awards. Um, Yes, we will be in the building. Um, We haven't talked too much about what we're wearing, but... Uh, It's got to be something nice. It's going to be real nice. Well, I don't think we have to talk too much about it, because whenever we go out, we always... Well, that's, that's, that's definitely true, so... Oh yeah, and we have a we have something about that. Don't too. let the natural so, hand fool you. Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. I'm nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to expect. Okay, so before we get into any news, any sports, any anything, over the weekend um, we had a lupus fundraiser, which was a flag football lupus fundraiser, and I want to thank everyone who has supported, who came out. Who made donations via online or bringing it to me personally? Um, I definitely want to thank my sponsors, which is, um, of course, Radio on Fire, um, Lasting Expressions, um, oh, Color so- Money Music, and AG3. So I thank all my sponsors. Um, hopefully, hopefully, you know, you can sponsor another event. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, um, Again, we we had a wonderful time yes. at this event. I was a little nervous. Yeah, she was. Because the rain was All just, weekend. I was like, please don't rain. <laughs> so me and my 10-year-old did a rain dance. She said it was a rain dance. She said, come on, mommy. So we did it. And it seemed like the rain stayed away. You're tired. And um, <laughs> we had a ball. And we did. Lesson expressions. This is family, let me say. Let me say this is family. And I will post pictures to my website, which is womenlovesports2.com. 
her balloon work is awesome. I have her link on that website as well. If you saw my Instagram um, frame, mm -hmm. Women Love Sports 2, she made that as well. I'm telling you, she does great work. Check her out. I think it's Lasting Expressions, LLC.com, something like that. But anyway, it's on my website, so you can check it out. Definitely. Great work. Definitely. Now, to the game. Okay. I was going to say, you can also check out how I work through my um Facebook is wow. Well, you have to go. Well, yeah, she, she's everywhere. I took the she's pictures. on Facebook as well. So if you type in, yeah, we just became friends. So, yeah. so let me tell y'all, this game was funny. It was hilarious. Um, of course, everyone was able to play. We even played with the children. Um, I do have pictures, and I don't have a lot of pictures. And I realize now, because we were playing exactly. So I realize now what I have to do is have a photographer there because right. we were busy. We was trying to get the W, okay? And we had them cheating on us. The, the fellas was trying to cheat us. All I got to say is I did really good because I kept up with your Yes, and you, and you got a touchdown. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we did our thing out there. Listen. Yes. Now, um, I did this with Misunderstood. Um, her show is considered this. Um, I did this with her. It was a joint venture. We collabed on this. Um, as I said before, I've been doing things for Leapers for five years. So I said, well, why not, you know, let's incorporate sports somehow. Right. So flag football, Leapers, we did it all in one. And when I say, my son, of course, was on the men's team. And when I say he shook her, so <laughs> she hit that ground, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. She, she did. It was like. I talked to her yesterday. She's still sore. Oh, wow. I know. I was like, oh, you're going to need to sew, baby. I don't know what to tell you. Um, we're going to get people to sign release forms the next time. You get hurt, it's on you. It's on you. I'm sorry. But, yes, we had a ball. Um, I also want to thank Raven from, um, what is the name of her show? I'm so sorry, Raven. Don't don't hurt me. But she's on WPB um, Radio. Um, she came out and showed her support. Okay. And um, thank you for coming out. It was some other people there. I can't remember everybody, but I just thank everybody. Please, if I did not say your name, please <laughs> charge it to my mind and not to my heart. I thank everyone for coming out and supporting such a great event. It was yes. for a great cause. So y'all stay tuned because we have something else coming up for Oh, cancer. I got to thank Trina. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I want to thank Trina for coming out because she came, you know, came and got me, and we went and found the football, <laughs> which was a, a a a trip within itself because we got to one place, found a football. Oh, girl, you know, I was a little confused, and I was like, "Who is Trina? 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 You talking about Tish? Tish? I'm sorry, <laughs> Tish. I'm so sorry, Tish. I was like, but Trina? me and Tish had an adventure getting the football to even play the game with. Yes, blame that on me because I left the football at home. I mean, we got to Family Dollar and found a football that a was nerf ball, a no, nerf ball, y'all. No, I did. I got the Nerf ball from um, Walgreens, oh, but I so thank we... you because we took that home. But no, we went in Family <laughs> Dollar. They had the football on the shelf, but it wasn't in the wrapping and stuff. Right. So I was like, he said ten dollars. I said, sir, it's not even in the packaging. You can't sell it to me for ten dollars, and it has no air. But well, you can go right next door, so I'm gonna pay you ten dollars for this ball. Then I'm gonna go next door, pay them. The, for... Tish, let's go to the next door. <laughs> well, let me thank my brother. Let me say that. Greg, listen, he went and got a football. It wasn't going to happen without <laughs> him. He 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 used to play semi-pro. Yes. And he used to coach. coach yes. So he was going to get a, a football for that. So, yeah, we finally got the football, and we beat. Yeah. <laughs> we beat. Can't tell us no otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, you child. And we played the kids. It was just it was just yes. a fun event. My daughter played. My youngest so. came out and played. Yes, and she caught the ball. Let's say no, let's be real. Okay. <laughs> Ten year old throws the ball to eleven year old. She's eleven, right? Yes. Right. Okay. So they they act like we're not there. They don't want to play with us. So they're gonna throw the ball. My daughter threw the ball to our daughter and what happened? Touchdown. Touchdown. So I mean, come on now. See you anyway, see. See, we do See, the football women, thing. Women do this, okay? So, hopefully this next event, you know, the guys can do something. Maybe we won't do... Um, Females versus yeah, Maybe we won't do that. Yeah. We won't do that. I don't want, want y'all to be upset. 
I'm so, just like, you know, it's a couple people I know that play basketball that I'm coming for. Oh. One of them already hit your post. Oh, my goodness. That donated, okay. and she was like, I said, oh, yeah, wow. we need you on the court. Okay, so <laughs> now that we've got over the fundraiser event, which was the ball, stay tuned. There's another one coming up. Let's get to some local news. Um, last week, we spoke about Frederick Douglass High School. Yes. We, they seem to be in the news an awful lot. Unfortunately, they were back in the news. Why? Some of those kids just don't Thank stop. You. What people do not realize is if you work at Popeye's, if you go downtown and you're down there selling um, baby turtles, Percocets, what else they sell down there? Loud. Yeah, all that stuff. You sell any of that down there in your Popeye's uniform? Guess what they're going to say? Oxycontins. They're going to say the person that was down there selling the work for Popeye's. So then that gives Popeye's a bad name. So that goes the same way for these students who have on their Frederick Douglass uniforms and then they're at 7-Eleven acting a donkey. So to the, let me give you a, a little information about the story. A father and daughter were caught in the middle of a brawl at Mondawmin 7-Eleven, which is the same 7-Eleven that some students from mm -hmm. Douglas and other schools ransacked during the riots, right, right. you know, with Freddie Gray. So the father says he and his six-year-old daughter were caught in the middle of a fight between high school students. It happened at around 3 o'clock Wednesday afternoon. And mind you, on Wednesdays, they dismiss at 12. No, they don't. they don't get out half of no. that anymore? That's why I just looked at that. They don't even get out of school till 4 o'clock. No more half days? No more half days. Well, see, I don't know. My son graduated from there. Yeah, there's no more half days. Well, you know, everybody don't have a full schedule. Right, and that's so true. So that could be the children that were there. I don't know. And it could have been the ones that just left. It happened, you know, at around 3 o'clock mm -hmm. at that particular 7-Eleven. And um, he, was, he was attempting to leave. And this is when all the dents and dings happened to his car. He said it was about 20. And maybe four or five of them had on Douglas shirts. Mm -hmm. So, again, what you wear, yes. if, if you have on a uniform, they're gonna, it's going to put a bad look to the place where you have on that uniform. If, and then they may not have been doing anything, the Douglas shirts, but you were there. Right. So that's all the guy can remember. And you oh, would need a car. He had on a Douglas right. shirt. You know, so. Now, he said that it was within 10, to, 10 or 15 seconds of me getting my daughter out, that's when it moved over to where he was. So when he tried to leave, um, his car became a target, bottom line. So now he has dents and dings. And he said that he thought the police was gonna be helpful, but they told him to get his car insurance company to fix his dents. And I mean, what was they gonna do, go chase all 20 of them down and find a four or five? Uh, they day? probably were gone when they finally got Right. There, I so. mean, if anybody knows anything, when kids, when police come, we disperse. You go pew. Yeah, but they, I don't think they should have responded in that manner. Well, mm -hmm. sir, get it fixed by your insurance company. I don't think that should have been the response. He should have said, I can write you a police report. Oh, I mean, yeah, that, of Something course. Like that. I mean, be, be a little professional. Right. Um, not all, not all police officers are bad, but just a few, you know, sometimes they have poor judgment and here was a poor, was poor judgment. judgment. Like he sh should not have responded in that manner. I mean, at least I think so. I don't know what you guys think. Um, and I, and I did make a post and said, Hey, if you have a student at Frederick Douglass high school, please do me a favor. It's, if it's your... Your child, your nephew, nephew cousin. niece, I don't care. Have a talk with them. Don't, don't just let it keep going. Right, because this is the thing that I get with a lot of Douglas kids. And I'm speaking as a Douglas parent. We think our kids are in school, but if you really go to that school and find out where your kid really is, most of the time, I'm not going to say all of the time because there are some that go to school and stay mm -hmm. where they're supposed to be. Right. But there are some that decide, hey, I'm going to go get on rolling and then I'm going to leave. 
that way. I mean, it's the same thing we did when we I were younger. I used to do that. Right, I was going to say, it's the same thing we did that when we were younger. Or you're thinking, and then when those reports come home, you're saying, well, how come you have 10 absences for this class and you only got five for this class? That's because they're leaving. Um, they're old enough to know the responsibilities Mm-hmm. And those people are not going, those staff members are not going to keep them from walking out. Only thing they're going to say is, okay, you guys, all right. Put them on the do not admit or the cut list. Right. Right. So, and I agree with problems totally, completely. If you don't know, please check in with your child's school to check into their attendance to see what they're actually doing. And for those Douglas parents who may be watching or if you know someone who attends Douglas, their um, back to school night is tomorrow from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Um, and that way you can talk to the principal and, and you oh. can find out what your child is really doing. I know his child, I know at Douglas is yours. And yeah, I'm sure I'll be there. be there. Oh, you know, with bells and whistles. <laughs> I'll be at practice. Um, My first day back whistles. to practice was yesterday. Oh, oh you went, oh, yes. Yeah. I was like, we were having much then, so <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute, but. I'm ready. And they played my beat, so you know I was in there. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> and we didn't want the time I got to my daughter's practice, it was over. but And we were off today. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Um, yes. So, yeah, y'all, come on. Let's yeah. get Douglas. Let's get Douglas back in the news for the positive. Right. And stop thinking it's just the, the guys. The girls are doing it, too. They are. The, yes. What's the girls it? are cutting and leaving. And, yes, the girls are doing it, too. I, I'm... <laughs> I'm not. I don't. I don't believe you girls are doing anything mm. wrong. I would want to say that they're not, but I'm just going to be honest. Oh. And I used to go, you know, before I, I started the full time job. Now I used to always be through there, cause I would go post up in my dog and see if my son would try to come through. Oh my gosh, you can't do that. Okay, so <laughs> yes, I did. How you doing? You don't have any thoughts on this matter. You shaking your head. You just saying, mm. Mm-hmm. You don't have any thoughts on that. Uh-oh. In a, in a second, you're going to hear Diamond K's voice. Diamond K, K, K. <laughs> K. You, you asked me if I have thoughts on what? Douglas. Douglas and the issues surrounding them and the children. I really think they shouldn't be allowed at 7-Eleven, but that's just me. Uh, I guess it depends on what time of day it is. Right. Um, At all. You know, I don't, I don't have any biolo- biological children, of course, but... Um, I uh, I am I've sunned many people so um, <laughs> but uh, you know so but yeah so I, but let me say this and this is why he always talks from behind let, let me let me let me say this um, the parents nowadays it is difficult for them to keep a, a handle on these kids when you baby them and give them everything that they want. They feel like they can do, well, I got to stay in school. You know what I mean? I, just, I get to pick what I have for dinner. I get to pick my clothes. Well, I got to stay in school. I don't want to stay in school. And the parents are just, Burr? yeah, that's <laughs> how they be. That was joke. That yeah, that's how I be. That's how I be. So but, you said um, they shouldn't pick what they wear? Um, they shouldn't no. have a choice? No. Oh. No. Now, I, to a degree. To a degree, okay. yes. But like the thing school. is, is that, so when I was younger, and, and so we did not grow up with a lot of money. But let me, so, so part of this is we don't have the money for that shit, but I ain't going to tell you. <laughs> and the other part of it is just, you know, learning the, the value of money. Okay. So a lot of the things that I wanted to get, I could not get until I got a job and was able to purchase them myself. The same way. My parents was like, okay, I'm going to, you want to have X amount of money. Uh, this is how much I'm spending. Right. And, you know, you get something within that right. price or range. Right, you walk out with nothing. So, therefore, I'm picking it, but I'm not, I'm not picking the $150 shoes. Uh, and I'm in the 10th grade because, you know, it's just like that. So, uh, this is why I keep my door locked. You know what I mean? I, it's just, you know what I mean? Some of the other people downstairs probably just doing whatever. And just, what the fuck is that? Okay. <laughs> 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 anyway, Hope Ho was not one of my sons. But, um... Let me Y'all say heard this. him say he didn't have no biological. I don't, <laughs> yeah, but I signed a lot of people. Oh my you know gosh. What I mean? Um but let me let me say this. So $150 tennis shoes, whether you can afford it or not, does not teach them the value of money. It lets them think I get whatever I want to get. I mm-hmm. poke my lip out, pout a little bit. <laughs> I just get whatever I want to get. You know what I mean? And so 
that's how I feel about that. So I'm, I'm get off the soapbox for a minute. Thanks. Um, but as it relates to <laughs> kids, van, kids been vandalized and caused since the beginning of the time. Beginning of the, uh, the Wright brothers and Ford and Dodge and I you know what the, I mean, like the first cause. You know I what I mean? The it's the just, right oh, I ain't even okay. Wait Wright brothers made the airplane. Right brothers you know what I mean? Plane. I was it's getting ready. They're lots of airplanes too. You know what I mean? It's just it's all that. You and play too much. It's like boat. You know what I mean? It's the first nigga made a boat. There was some kids that <laughs> threw some rocks at his boat. Okay, um, so it's just it's just ridiculous. And all this is because they bought him some Jordans. What was we talking about? Slams the mic down. I'm out. <laughs> we can't with Diamond K. Okay, and that's we, why he he only sunned. But we put him on the mic. He still didn't answer the question. No, he <laughs> Wait a didn't. minute. Oh my God! It takes a biological part to answer that question. <laughs> don't don't. don't. <laughs> he don't. I mean, he get it. I understand where he was coming from, but he just never really answered it. It was like, okay, uh, I'm not even. But you know what the thing answer. is with, with Diamond K, and I'm gonna ask him about another topic, and I'm y'all gonna get what I'm saying. He has to give you all background information, right? And that's exactly what he just did, right? And before that's he true. gets to his answer. But sir, I'm talking about the Douglas kids keep being in the news, okay? Like, you, chill. And that's true because I mean, even when he was saying that, it's like my son is 19 and he don't have choices right now. He has to earn all of his choices and. All of that stuff back. My yeah. children are spoiled. I ain't even gonna lie. No, my daughter's all. But I mean, my everybody son, is. My I, son, I think I spoiled them at because, of course, because they're all at different ages. Right. And I have to treat them all differently. Then, I mean, even discipline is different. Like right. Diamond, I could just just me yelling at her is enough. Oh, oh, oh. But some other people, I had to put hold on, hold, put hold, hands hold, hold, hold. on. Diamond with the Y. Diamond K T, okay. Let's be clear. Diamond, diamond K, with the diamond I. What? See, you don't even know what was happening. You talking about <laughs> diamond with the Y? So anyway, what you do? Yes, and and just for one second, because I want to get on to the next topic. But before I get on that topic, can you give me one of those? Too? <laughs> can I get one of them? Huh? <laughs> anyway, y'all don't know what he. It's gonna be a. She it's gonna she, be a boxing ooh. match. It's gonna be a fight in here if you throw that water on me. I'm he, trying to tell you. He trying to make it rain for real. That's what I did. That's what you did. Where that money at? I forgot you again. <laughs> anyway, so. You know, I so. You know, I say, what? I'm talking a little crazy. Now it's like son. <laughs> thank you. Thank Come you. on. <laughs> should we should we delay with them? Huh? Yeah, he the one oh, yeah, D-label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, you do mine because I'm talking and I can't, I can't multitask. Thank you. I always want somebody to do me. You right. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. She wore her do me baby shirt. <laughs> All my shirts like that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is sports talk, y'all. <laughs> well, y'all was talking about other stuff because I was going to comment on his $150 tennis shoes or whatever he was saying. My my daughter, although she's a diva, she's a sneakerhead. So when tennis shoes gonna come out, she be like, "Ma, she she have a job. She has two jobs now, but she didn't have them before." She be like, uh, "Do you get the call? Do you get the text?" Exactly. So I I told her she wanted to. Good morning. How you doing? What you want? <laughs> Well, I have twins, so I have one that works right now. She's babysitting, so she doesn't ask me for a thing right now. She they gets her own money. No, you didn't. You ain't said that to my child. <laughs> then I have another twin who just said, Ma, it's time for me to take my hair out. I said, okay, cool. So I need some braids. Oh, okay, cool. What am I to do? I don't have no job. Oh, McDonald's is right up the street. Oh, my goodness. It's like, no, I told her. Who sent that baby to Mc, not that McDonald's anyway? No, Saver got to get ready open. I told him go fill out an application. Okay. All right, y'all. So let, let's get off of that. Um, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all playing too much. Um, what? Yeah, no, yeah, let them we, get a job. We're we going to stop that. Um, no, we did our, our, local, our local news, which is. Douglas need to set their ass down and stop doing so much. Y'all, I'm if not you're gonna do it, much. take off your shirt. Right, that's what I say. So y'all, y'all I'm not doing way too much for y'all. Y'all just 
anyway, so before I get into sports news, uh, I'm sure everyone in this room, everyone watching, has heard about um, <clears throat> George Zimmerman uh, retweeting the picture of Trayvon Martin. And um, I thought he was dead. He's gonna hyperventilate over here. He, uh, he, look at him. He want to say something. Real, real, real bad. So, <laughs> yeah, so he retweeted the, the damn picture of him, like, laying there. As he should. Why should he? Because I'm not going talking to talk about this. Uh, as he should, because when somebody kills his ass, we need constant reminders as to why it's going Oh, well, I was getting ready to say, well, I thought she was getting ready. I was oh, getting that's ready. that's why you ain't telling the man. I was case really case about case. to make Diamond K real dog. I what? really was. Uh, well, um, I, he tried to fight back I, against critics on Monday I and his tweets that were um. Shoot my bag, man. I thought he well, was already dead. Sure no, nah, that man didn't been a security officer. He, he didn't. Was he didn't work in a gun store. <laughs> A rest of peace t-shirt. No. no. Get it done. Oh. <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not going to be able to do it. So in other news, before I talk about the Ravens, in other news, and what do you mean? Okay, you want to take a break? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. So before, before, we, before we do that, Huh? Yeah, what you mean? He ain't come here to talk about the rape. We can't even talk about his football injury. Oh, he can't talk about his football? That's perfect. He don't play football. I would just... Uh, <laughs> you, you, you know what? No, he played against us Sunday. Maybe he was. Maybe he was out there with Rapist He played against us Sunday. Because he, he was no, caught. No, Rapist no, Burger was caught off yeah, the field. Won, yeah, yeah, we won. Yeah, we won. We won. You didn't hear me say. I, you didn't hear her say I scored the touchdown. I scored the touchdown. Our touchdown. She scored our touchdown. touchdown. Yes. I mean, My daughter scored. I said we one. won. Jack we won three to. Scored a touchdown. What does that mean? It was twenty-one to seven. We won. Oh. Okay. Not to be dumb. We won. No. Little kids. No, little kids. Greg was the QB. My brother was the quarterback. Oh. What you having and puffing for? Y'all the same age. Um. <laughs> You a liar. You a liar like the devil. Oh, you were supposed to be there. Where were you? I was giving away. that? Yes, you did. You a liar. You a motherfucking liar. Do y'all Oh, I can say what I want to say. Oh, I got to get that. Uh, you didn't so see the fly? I didn't know where it was at. I didn't, didn't have no address or nothing. It I, did so. I thought it was top secret and shit. You know he a mean? liar, y'all. He a because liar. Because around Baltimore How Hill. How you a sponsor not Baltimore know where Hill, it is? They, they know. What they know? I am the only, the one quarterback and running back qualifying. at the same time. It's that bullshit. <laughs> They're not exactly the same. Like, not, let me rephrase that. It, within the same game. It's not the same time. But you know what I mean. But nobody called me. I just, you know what I mean? All right. That's what's up, though. Somebody should call up to the station and say, this is Title Truth Tuesday, Diamond K. Stop playing. Yes. That's all I do. Somebody I do. that lives. Somebody that lives around Baltimore Hill yeah, or, or lived, lived, or lived. Let know because yeah. he's older than dirt. No. So if you lived I'm around there, yeah. my mother went to high you school. You forty plus? Age. Well, she's older than dirt, dirt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He older well, than dirt. If, if that's the case, then yeah, I'm glad to be here because I know a lot of niggas. I'm okay. the first. That's right. Not a whole. Matter of fact, don't you know that water? <laughs> <laughs> For the homies that ain't Wait a minute, y'all. He just pulled some water on the floor. <laughs> For the take. homies that ain't here. I can't take it. So listen, I'm gonna say this, this and then we're gonna take a quick for break. My homie. We go we go wow, wow, wow. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. I'm I'm gonna give some good news before we get to talking about rapist burger. The, oh, we'll these that's what I'm saying. I got this light skin. Um I did. <laughs> but um Um Not yet I, you know what? <laughs> You don't want to do this. Stop it. So, so like I was saying, I'm gonna mention some good news so before I before I mention Tony. Now you don't. No, I don't. What? You don't like What is she talking about? Why we nah, Why are we having this conversation? Nah, I don't have one eyeshadow. Whatever that's yeah, <laughs> you light skin. Is that your point? You try to say you don't like brown skin no more? I always like brown skin. 
No, no, you don't like brown skin. You I love brown skin. You, what friend? What are you talking about? What's the real? That you still love me? Get out of here. So let's get to the next topic, like I was saying. John Wall has called. I'm not all right. You know, I'm beyond all right. Don't go there with me, sir. So anyway, don't, let's talk sports real quick. We can talk relationships later. <laughs> okay? So, we said we don't. Oh, she's married, and I know we, you know what, <laughs> John Wall has called, <laughs> has called Washington, D.C. his home <laughs> since he, since he was drafted. <laughs> this dude is a mess. We can't turn his mic on no more. But um, he says he was drafted to the Washington Wizards with the number one overall pick in 2010. Mm -hmm. So he decided that he was going to donate. Four hundred thousand to the um, to help support the the homeless youth in Washington D.C. Um, that was great. I was getting ready to say something I negative. That. Nope, I got a joke because I was getting ready to say who told me that. It's almost. I was ready to tell my sister, tell your baby father John Wall got him because uh -oh. that's where he is. Uh, okay, that was it. What you mean? That's what. That's that's where baby daddy is. Oh my gosh! Did Tell you just me got that? him. Put that man on blast like that. Okay. Ain't that some? Glad I ain't say his name. Ain't that some bull swanky? Just put that man on. Sure. Okay, so y'all messed me up. I can't even say nothing after that. So on that note, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna have Tony sitting over here with us. So that um let me clear the spot. I'm I sorry. don't know if he's gonna defend the Ravens or he's gonna allow me to say that they sucking right now, sucking balls for real. They whack right now, they gotta get it together. Um I'm sure you're gonna agree when I talk about Ravens Burger. Um, um Yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna take a break and be right back. Of course Diamond K Mouth is gonna be heard. Right. Sure. He over there sweat. He like, I don't know who watching this and she's saying all this shit. <laughs> all right, we'll be back, y'all. <laughs> 